Here is a Minerva Tropic Master radio. And I think this dates from the 1940s and was sold to people in the armed services at the post exchange as an entertainment device. And it was built ruggedly to uh, survive that kind of, those kind of conditions. It's got this flip up lid here that you can close to protect it. And I've put all new capacitors in this. I'll need to do another, I, I forgot to do a video on this as I was repairing it. So I'll need to do another one showing uh, the repair process. But this is actually a hot chassis set. It's, I, I think it was designed that way to be able, maybe to be used on board ships, which would have used DC power supplies or maybe just for, uh, it's certainly not for weight because this thing is heavy and ordinarily something this robust would have used a power transformer but there must have been a reason for not putting it in maybe due to uh, a bigger need to op be able to operate it on DC it's got an RF amplifier stage it's not tuned, it just has a two gang tuning capacitor has two rectifiers, which I think are 25Z6, and two uh, push pull output tubes, which I think are 25L6. And this has a metal cabinet, and the inner chassis is actually hot. It uses wood blocks to uh, isolate the chassis from the uh, cabinet. And actually, it's it wouldn't meet modern safety codes because there's this little portal you can open up here and you can see inside of there is the hot chassis where you hook up the antenna leads to. Now I've got it hooked up with a polarized power cord uh, with the uh, neutral side of the line going to the chassis so that makes it safer but of course for the ultimate in safety you'd want to use an isolation transformer and just uh, make sure that nothing is hooked up to that chassis unless an isolation transformer is used. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on here. This is, I got this at, no I guess I didn't. I was gonna say I got this at the same place I got the Westinghouse fan but actually I did and I got it somewhere else. But it's, uh, it's led a very active life. But I don't ever refinish stuff like this because that doesn't really doesn't make a hill of beans or the difference to me. I don't want it to look like it came out of a new out of the factory. I want to see uh, just what it's been through. But I mean I don't fault anyone for wanting to restore something to factory condition. But just as far as my own opinion, I just clean it up and only if it would be really super rusted or something would I try to repaint it. But this is a part of its history, just the wear it's had over the years. Just thinking about someone for years and years and years turning on this radio and just seeing the mark left around the volume knob and whoever owned this must have done a lot of tuning too because there's a mark around the tuning knob so we'll turn it on here Today on the show, we're talking about getting unstuck. And Rachel, there are lots of times, lots of situations that are happening that, that are causing people to feel really stuck right now and, and frustrated. And so you're here to offer some suggestions. 15% or more on car insurance. An important reminder for Medicare. It's Medicare open enrollment through December 7th. Time to compare plans and see what's best for you. You don't have to change.
something is generating a huge amount of interference, and I think it may be downstairs. It may have a computer monitor on downstairs or something, but the, I'm really not getting good reception at this time of the day. Something's... So this, the performance you see here is not as good as it can be. Just the line, that's been a problem for Michael Vick for the last two and a half years, recognizing where the pressure's coming from and reacting to it. Yep. It has been a huge difference from him in 2010 in the last two years. Boy, I, there's some games this week I can't wait to watch. I stayed away from that Denver Carolina. Let's try a shortwave now. No, it doesn't seem to be working at all. It, I'm not sure why that's not working. It did work when I tested it. Well, <laughs> things always seem to, just when you're getting ready to demonstrate them, they seem to not work as good as they should. But I'll, I'll keep trying with that and see, because I was, I was able to pick up something on shortwave with it. There's the Minerva Tropic Master. I'll try and do another video sometime when reception conditions are better and see if I can maybe get the shortwave to work.